going? Uh, let me just update everything before we get started. I'm doing a belated birthday stream. Yesterday was my birthday. Didn't get a chance to stream yesterday, but uh, it's Friday, and I definitely wanted to stream today and catch up. So let's get this in here. Do do do. Howdy howdy. All right. Where are you guys? Hey, Jonathan, welcome, welcome. How's it going? Let me fix this real quick. Just updating some stuff before we get started. It is annoying that I have to keep dating this every time when I'm streaming directly from the PS4. I do wish they'll fix that, but you know, maybe in a patch in the future they will. Oof, let's say my connection is bad. I'm refreshing right now, let's see what's going on with this. <sighs> Doing good, Jonathan? Happy Friday. Alright, so let's look at our uncle. Okay, alright, so we gotta deal with uncle. Let's see what he wants. This majestic beard of mine. Those plans make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> But I'll tell you what I think, just to be safe. I'll do the reading and planning, and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. Or you use what you've got, which is less of a brain. <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing it says, the foundation. Which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago, unless you want to do <laughs> lumbago. For me really? When the work day's over. Don't tempt me. Oh, well, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? I'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now come on. Get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. He's right. She get on with this. Oh. So Charles actually helped him build a house. <laughs> While well, Uncle just stood there. That's funny.
Damn, they are definitely doing all the work. So do you. Oh, I know. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, to this happy home. At least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> You and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you. And that is, I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. <laughs> Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. <laughs> Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, come back to me. Yours always, John. Sorry, touching. I'm doing good, man. Yeah, busy, busy week, man. So I'm looking forward to relaxing and just cowboying out for the weekend. Uh, actually went out for my birthday last night to Hen Quarter. Never been there before, but it apparently they serve Uncle, fried chicken and waffles. Was... Where the hell? to find you working just once do you believe in reincarnation john marston no well i hope and pray to whatever is out there that i get to come back as a youngin so that when you're old and facing death i can be some 
<laughs> penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming, ranching, planting something. The only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so so cows, sheep, goats. You know, goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're gonna need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. <laughs> the lumber all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. Hey, yeah, uh, welcome, Chris Bacon. Uh, you changed your name from Mr. No. Yes, I remember that name. Uh, welcome, Batman. Uh, yeah, it's all good, man. Uh, live stream is all about, you know, relaxing, having fun, you know, just chatting. So, whenever you can stop by is always appreciated. And thank you, yes, uh, my birthday. I'm getting older. Now, this fella probably saw you, thought, here's some corn husk idiot, some country rube doesn't know a pre cut home from an outhouse. And I'm gonna rob him blind. <laughs> uh, I gotta respect him for it, because if I saw you walk into my lumber yard, I'd think exactly the same thing. Thinking about it? Huh. I might actually do this on my own. Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Let you get robbed again? <laughs> oh, no. You need someone with some sense to negotiate. And some charm wouldn't hurt neither. Oh, and that's you, is it? With your famous way with people? Wait for me. <laughs> Don't run off anymore, okay? Shut up. I run off when I want to. Anyway, you carry on. Ah, you're in enough debt as it is. I got to help you all I can. It's this my is debt. It. I'll handle it. Yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home. And I do so like it there. You like it too much. You're far too comfortable. Ah, you ain't even got furniture. Get on the horse, won't you? And how are we? How's little Emily? Emily? I'm sorry, I thought, um, how are you? We need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna uh, farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many scar-faced loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Uh, we're an excellent choice. We have a couple already cut and in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's out. But it, it's great seeing you again, Al. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been a sir. pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. <laughs> That's funny. How are we going to pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer, and I like you, and David Geddes likes you. Now, I, but I, this I, man I, is very annoying. Can you just give me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I... John! Hey! Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey! John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. Oh, and you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I... You got any work? I'm kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing. And I... You up for a fight? Is it legal? <whistles> well, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. <whistles> Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. I have it on good authority we can find this bounty at Painted the Sky. I know the place. Okay, I'll follow you. Whoa. Damn it. All right, the paint 
Painted sky tip is pretty fresh, but I don't know how long it'll stay that way. An encyclopedia salesman was up there on the property. Couldn't find the rancher, but saw a Mexican looking feller hanging around. Now, Ramon Cortez is around those parts and split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. Hold your horse there! Now, I was saying, it's gotta be him. Hold up, waiting on some out. And we're gonna get to him first. Sadie! Hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo gang. Yeah? You head back down to where Oh shit. The hell? My bad, horsey. Now I was saying something. Oh yeah. You head back down to where we was, New Austin. You're bound to run into them. Are they Mexicans? Some. And some Californios. And some regular Americans too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly, I bet. <laughs> arm into a fault. Ugh, it's a bad situation out there. Burning, killing, you name it. Not my squad, except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. You don't get too far ahead. Yeah, I'm playing with John Marston. So, um, in case anybody isn't aware, I this is my bad choices. So, the choices I made in the main campaign um, resulted in. Um, damn it, Sadie, where are you, man? I'm running too slow. Okay, come on. Where were we? Resulted in yeah, Arthur dying. It, so. There to hold back the chaos. It's real wild that country. That ain't much of an advertisement for the place. It isn't somewhere I'd vacation. But it's something to behold. If you're inclined, you should take a look. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about? Was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice? Weren't what I heard about them. Got a hold of this fella I'd hired. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We was too slow, was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, all the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Me too. But if not, I mean to be... This is painted sky up here. Looks quiet. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. You search that barn. I'll take the main house. Holler if you get him. We've come for it. Well, oh, really? Uh, it'll all be over soon. You got him? I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. Yeah, that's him. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. That was easy. Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. We're going to Rhodes. Rhodes? It's different there now. Uh, uh, that hurt. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Newberry Creek. Take me there. I'll pay you good. There isn't any bounty. Oh, shut up. 
<laughs> That's funny. Oh, man. So, what do you guys think of uh, the story for Red Dead so far, uh, Chris and uh, Jonathan? I was asking, uh, what do you guys think of the story so far? The Red Dead. Come on! I'll give you a hundred dollars to kill that bitch! Two hundred! Mr. Sheriff? Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Well done, how? Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. Hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give $2,000 in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. Damn, $2,000. I'm, I'm almost tempted to take him up on that offer. Ride you into San Denis and watch him hang you. <laughs> okay. Okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard him till my boys arrive and we can get him out of here. Sure. I uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you did a good job. <laughs> I feel like something's about to pop off. His guys d didn't arrive. Is that them? Kind of feel like it's oh, the bad guys. Sheriff Thomas, Sheriff Thomas, we want our friend back. You have about ten seconds, Sheriff Thomas, before we kill all of you fools. One. Don't be a dumb bastard. Two. This is a good town now. Three. Let him have it, boys. Tell them. He ain't here now, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it to San Denis. You want to get shot today as well as Rob, mister? Are you threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another fifty dollars besides. A hundred dollars. Seventy-five. I can't go higher. Done. Let's go. 
Jim Milton. <laughs> Sadie's badass, man. Kinda need some. Ugh. Damn it, it's nighttime. I can't buy anything. So, I really need some food for my my horse. Nothing planned yet for Thanksgiving. Um, might just be chilling and taking it easy. Man, this is a nice way to get some stuff, to be honest. into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah, he'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez? We're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. What about you, John? Uh, what you guys got planned for uh, Thanksgiving? Thing, isn't it? We'll take $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself. Go get a bounty. But we won't take two thousand dollars from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. How we take money from one but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, dog, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So, True. everyone with a price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No. I don't know. Usually, if I got into who deserved what, second guess every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. <laughs> bounty hunters. That's pretty much what we turned into from outlaws to Hold bounty up. hunters. Down there. Fire. I'd wager that's them. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. Water mill by the creek bed. There it is. 
I'm going to eat dinner with your cousin and family. That's always nice. Must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them. Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You. Me. You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. <laughs> but it's okay for you. I, I want to die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. I they look asleep as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? Just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. Damn, Sadie. And shoot well. Keep forgetting I don't have as much uh, supplies as when I was playing with Arthur. Oh shit, she's dead. Damn. Yeah, they are not playing around. It's funny how they showed a slow motion death in her. Okay. They're still alive, ain't they? Let's see what we can do about that. 
I hate. Probably have been hitting the gym a lot. Oh wait, oh, hold on one second. Damn it! Ugh. Why does she keep dying? Like literally, I'm trying to push upon him and she keeps getting killed. Ah, damn. Yeah, man, I don't have enough life for this one. Oof. Probably should utilize cover a bit more, but eh. Damn it, I'm playing like crap, man. I'm rusty.
Oh shit, did I kill her? I didn't realize that was her. You attack Sadie. Oof. Okay, that's didn't work as planned either. This mission is a uh, much more difficult than I realize. Damn it! She keeps dying. Stop being so aggressive, Sadie. Damn it, and she's dead again.
Uh, yeah, this, she keeps going forward and I'm like, slow down, man. I'm like, I can't kill that many people. Like, Sadie needs to calm down and like not trying to run like gun ho ahead. My goodness, and there she goes again, getting killed. Ah, damn it. Oof. Man, this is a really... This is like the toughest mission I've had so far.
Alright, this is a rifle. Should be doing much better now. Okay, maybe that wasn't such a good idea. Ugh. It's a good rifle, but it, sh it shoots too slow. I need something that shoots fast but does damage. Weird that this ended up being one of my hardest missions after all the missions I've done previously. See how this works now. Shit. Uh, damn. Damn, this one is brutal.
anything clever, you're gonna get shot. Oh, hold your horses, chica. That was really hard. I said, get out of there! Easy, easy, girl. Oh, you gave up easy a long time ago. Hey, look out. There's more of them coming. Hey! Estoy aquí! Shut your gut down! Just be. Son of a bitch. Well, that's that then. Help me load this fool on the horse. A lot of crazy bastards. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Too tough for you, John Marston. I'd stay well clear. Oh, I mean to, Mrs. Adler. They coming along, Liam? Okay, let's go. Me again. It's about time we collected this bounty. Second time lucky. What do you think, Cortez? You got any more surprises up your sleeve? You, you're a dead woman. And you are a dead man. The lobos will not forgive this. <laughs> Wherever you hide, we will find you. Yeah, that was definitely a really painful mission right there. Eesh. Sheriff, we got him. 
I knew you'd be back, Ramon. <laughs> you just can't get enough of me. Put them in the wagon for me, would you? How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Yeah. Me and the boys will ride them to San Denis right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. I'll pay you when I deliver them. Plus $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's go, boys. I'll see you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> Thanks for this, John. You send my money to the bank for me. Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? For nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money for old Rove. If you say so. See you around, partner. Where are you? How was your holiday? I was making money. And to think, you call me lazy. You've done a great job. Well, that crew did help. But the house, the barn. Look at this place. I can't believe it. Thank you. Thank you both. This calls for a drink. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. But we go better when we brought our four tack to cat head. Come bustle, bustle, drink about and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out, and then all hands to see. When horn and hounds the forest rend, his pack the huntsman cheers. When horn and hounds the forest rend, his pack the huntsman cheers. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Oh, they about to get shit faced. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. Come bustle, bustle, drink about, and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out, and then our hands to see. What's got at sea we spend on shore on sweethearts and our wives. What's got at sea we spend on shore at sweethearts and our wives. And then my boys hoist sail for more, thus passes sailors' lives. And then my boys hoist sail for more, thus passes sailors' lives. Come bustle, bustle, drink about, and let us marry me. Our can is full, let's fight it out, and then our hands to see. Yeah! <laughs> John! Get out here! Uncle's gone! He's fine! Let me sleep. Get out here now! <sighs> that fat man will be fine. No, he won't. Skinners. You think? Of course. My guess is they went that way. But my other guess is they know we're coming after him. What choice do we have? None. <whistles> Just gotta keep our wits about us. We know this is a trap. Oh. Let's go. Well, well, like waking I mean, I'm surprised Skinner's didn't try to attack when you're all drunk then. Versus we'll setting up a trap. The road. We'll pick up the trail there. Shit. It's like we forgot about it. We should have been ready. It happened. There's nothing we can do except try and get him back. We let our guards down for one moment. Hush! Up here. You see that? Blood. Dear Lord. They've gone up towards tall trees. Come on! John, look. We should have... Oh, 
something. If it's really bad, this might not be about saving it. What the hell are you talking about? If it's really bad, it might be better to stop the pain. Jesus, do you mean to... I mean, you can live a week without a scalp, but it ain't a good week. A gut wound, you can live a month, but it's horrible. What they've done to him might have killed him already. Did you hear something? Yeah. You think they saw us coming? I don't know. I guess we'll soon find out. We'll be better off going on on foot. Okay. Leave the horses in the trees there. That was reckless on my part. Hold. Patrol to our left. Shh. Hold it. Taken care of. They were looking for something. Us, most likely. Come on. Let's find where they're holding him. We must be close. Let's take him down before he gets to the rest. Take him out. I think I see something. 
Uh-huh. Yeah, that must be their camp. What do we do? Let's get up on that boulder, take a look. Uh, hang in there, old man. Okay, okay. I can't see much through this mist. Can you look too? Hold on. God, we gotta go get him. Careful. Where are they? Where are they? I don't care. Come on, uh, Charles. Uh, 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 behind you. Okay. You look awful. You'll be okay. Those bastards. We got him. Oh. Oh, looks like we got here just in time. God damn it. I'll carry him.
Let's get out of these woods. I'm getting. I'm getting. Try to stop us. Does it look okay? We're out. We ain't out until we're home. Right hard. Oh, man. How's the back? I think it looks worse than it is. Burns don't always heal easy. Sure, but I think this will be fine. As long as it don't get infected, it's much better than I feared. Hear that, old man? This could have been worse. He's pretty weak. Yeah, I bet. Stay with us, you old bastard. Uh, I can't, I can't, I'm back. Over here. Almost back. Hang in there, old timer. Oh, don't let me fall, please. Whew. Sorry about that. That was pretty intense. Uh, thanks, uh, Jude, uh, for the uh, message. I didn't realize my mic was mute. Let's get him out. Thank you, boys. Don't mention it. I thought I was dead. Don't get all sentimental now, old man. And I really think you're dying. It's gonna be okay. A few days, you're gonna be just fine. You're a survivor. Easy, easy. Okay. He'll be fine. You think they'll be back? Maybe, but I doubt it. We must have killed most of them. Now, this is your land. Was it theirs once? I don't think so. I met a fellow said the Skinners rode down about two years ago. They're just angry men on a rampage, and we got in their way. Sort of like we used to be? <sighs> yeah. Exactly like we used to be. Maybe we should take up torture. <laughs> uh, we got Uncle singing instead of torture. We're gonna be safe here, John. Hmm? You, your family, you all be safe. I hope so. I really do. If she ever comes back. guys i'm gonna have to end it but i catch you guys later all right adios bye that fine way with words you doing all right son sure pop can I go see the house sure just give him some time he'll warm up it's quite a place you got here it's yours ours I should see about that boy who's my new <laughs> rival Oh, that's Rufus. He's loyal, dumb, and angry, so we reminded us of you. That's your idea of a joke, miss? I guess. Come on! <laughs>